So initially I drew out the pentagon and then did the same line, got the angles, and then created a boundary patch for just one of those. Inserted that into an assembly and then constrained it along all of the edges uh, for each of these. And then I used the shrink wrap tool to shrink wrap it into a solid. Then I did a work plane and a boundary patch of the sketches as they went around. So for sketch one, I just went to here and figured out that angle. And so in these, I linked all of the parameters from the initial one. So I have all of my reference angles that I can use and pretty much went around and then did the next one, the next one, the next one, so on. So then I boundary patched all those together and then I did a sculpt and a split. So it actually gives us two different solid bodies that we can show the visibility. It gives us this weird curve on it. So I don't know if that's going to be something um, that's going to affect whatever. But if we go into the eye properties of the actual part, go to physical, and we say solid 2, and we update it, there's the mass or the area. And then if we go to solid 3, and update it. There's the other area. So they're not the same as far as the areas go, but you could probably do some calculations with that to figure it out.